All right, you beautiful people, it is December 2020. We're taking a look back at what happened in November 2020 and what a year it's been. This will be our last installment for 2020 where we take a look at what's going on in the world of real estate by the numbers and we'll jump right into it. If we look at the combined sales, both residential and condo, we have sold 25.2% more properties. The average price has gone up by 19.6% and the inventory, as is the story of the year, is 37% less than we saw in the same period last year. What that means in terms of uh, uh, absorption rate is that we have less than one month of inventory, which means it is definitely a seller's market. You've heard, I'm sure, about all the bidding wars. It's no secret that the driving factor is the fact that there is almost nothing to buy and anything that is good gets scooped up almost immediately. Year to date, we're looking at finally, we have surpassed the number of sales that we did in 2019. It's been a, a really uh, 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 troubling year with trying to catch up to those numbers, but we made it. As a result of having two months where the you know we almost shut down the real estate world, we did about half the transactions in both April and May. We've had more transactions crammed into a shorter period of time, and that's shot the price up. So we're at 19.9% growth rate versus 2019. All right, the busier summer, the manic fall have really offset that spring market and the uncertainty in the market. We're now outpacing sales from 2019. And that's really been driven by the residential side. So let's jump over into the November residential sales. We're looking at a total number of sales of 1,209. It's an increase of 26.5%, and the average price is up by 20.3%. Again, the inventory is 50% less. There's so so more, so fewer, so many less houses for sale uh, uh, than there were last year, and so that's a real big driving factor, especially on the residential side. All right, we look at the months of inventory. We've got 0 0.83 months of inventory, so definitely a seller's market. Uh, and if you look at year-to-date residential, we are now above where we were uh, last month in terms of number of sales. We had just got to be on par with number of residential sales in October, and now in November, we are exceeding that number. The average price, like you see, is higher by 19.6%, all right? The notes here says that, says that, that we're now ahead of uh, year-to-date. The prices are going high. People want houses with more space. They're spending more time there, okay? They want to be uh, uh, with uh, their family. They want a little bit of extra space. Space uh, in those properties, so that's a real driving factor. Space inside as well as space outside. A little bit different on the condo world. If we look at November uh, year to date, of course, a lot of these numbers look the same at a, a high level. Okay, so 22.6% more condos sold, and the average price has gone up by 15.2. But when you start to break it down and you get into the inventory, we see there's actually uh, more properties available for sale. Remember on the residential side, it was about half, but on the condo side, it's about a quarter more properties available for sale than there were at this point last year. What that means is that the months of inventory is starting to creep up. Last year was 1.15 months of inventory. Now it's 1.33 months of inventory. That number will slowly creep up. It still is a seller's market, but you've got to be really smart when you're positioning your condo for sale. Year to date, the condos again uh, are are not uh, yet caught up with the numbers that we uh, were at at the end of November 2020. We'll see what happens at the end of December 2020 to see if that minus 0.3% can get back to a zero or if it's gonna be a little bit less in terms of number of total number of condos sold. But the number of, con oh, sorry, the average price of a condo has gone up by 19%. All right, so we're seeing the gap between the inventory versus the same period last year is increasing. So how many condos are available for sale at the end of every month? The gap is increasing month over month. So we're gonna look for price changes in approximately 12 to 18 months. The rental rates are always uh, also being affected. And what we're seeing, of course, is people would buy condos, rent them to students. Students aren't going to school, so students aren't renting condos. So we're seeing the rental rates uh, being affected a little bit there as well. And that might be driving some of the people who are wanting to get out of their condos condos. So the, the inventory will start to go up, the demand might start to come down a little bit on the condo world and might not be the same sort of a, a big bump that we see on the residential world. Of course, the condo world accounts for about a quarter of the market in Ottawa, where the residential world accounts for about three quarters of it. So overall, our market might look strong, but that minor segment. So, you know, like I say, when you position your condo for sale, or if you're buying a condo right now, you need to uh, be smart about it. So if you're thinking about buying, you're thinking about selling, uh, you're thinking about investing in the new year, please reach out. My team and I'd be more than happy to help out, discuss exactly what the particulars are about your situation, because although we're talking about 
big numbers here, there might be some specifics to the price range you're working in, the neighborhood you're looking in, et cetera, et cetera. So let's really get down and work out the nitty gritty, uh, especially if you're selling. There are some strategies that we have that are constantly and consistently getting our clients more than their fair share, more than the other agents are able to offer, more than people are able to get uh, if they're trying to sell their house privately. Uh, uh, of course, there's a cost to hiring a real estate agent, but if you hire the right one, then there will also be a benefit to you. Uh, so as always, the phone number is 613-314-3187. And until then, sty fire out.